why must the United States carry so great a load in helping Europe? The answer is simple. The United States is the only country in the world today which has the economic power and productivity to furnish the needed assistance. It is a difficult program, and you know far better than I do the political difficulties involved in this program. But there's no doubt whatever in my mind that if we decide to do this thing, we can do it successfully. And there's also no doubt in my mind that the whole world hangs in the balance as to what it is to be. Gentlemen, to Arthur Vandenberg. Oh, please, not him. I swear, if I hear someone mention bipartisan cooperation one more time, I'll smack Vandenberg a good one. And he'll deserve it, too, since he'll be the one saying it. Now, now, I mean, he is one of us. Even though we control both houses of Congress, that doesn't mean we shouldn't share power with the Democrats. Why? Truman doesn't share VJ Day with us. Well, you were one of the loudest opponents to going to war. I stand by my principle. America first. America, America first. first. So, what are we going to do about this European recovery plan? Arthur's got half our camp singing hallelujahs to it. For $17 billion out of our pockets? Why not just give Detroit to France? Or better yet, Germany. Maybe they can figure out how to make automobiles. <laughs> uh, seriously. This thing's like wildfire. Everyone's worried about the communists taking advantage of the poverty and the ruin over there. And Marshall's got everyone concerned about the elections in Italy. He says without the plan, they'll back the Reds. Well, he would say that. He'll say anything to get his plan supported. I hope you're not implying that George Marshall is lying. Well, well no, but surely he's exaggerating the danger. Son, say what you will about the plan. But be very careful how you paint George Catlett Marshall. If that man says cats can dance the jitterbug, then you better book the orchestra. But he's Truman's man. Surely this is just another ploy to make the Democrats look good now that they don't have the war. Making the Democrats look good is the last concern of the general. I can assure you of that. Marshall belongs only to Marshall. And to the truth. They say he's trained himself not to show any emotion so no one can accuse him of bias. And like it or not, that's paying dividends now. Sure, everyone trusts him because he's a man of his word. He always puts facts before favoritism. That's integrity. And it's that integrity that makes him the ultimate coalition builder. Each side knows they'll get a fair shake. And he knows his material. George Marshall doesn't blow smoke. When he proposes something, it's not to bring glory to himself or Truman, but because he's thought it out and truly believes in it. Well, you two sound like you're going to vote for the plan. Do you really think the Reds are as big a threat as Marshall says? Thank you, James. Gentlemen, to the Marshall plan.